Hey guys, over the last week or so, Joy, the other admin of my page, and I have been getting messages on the wall and private messages asking us, how do you download a file that's on the group page or a font? Now, I do have a video. It's probably about four years old, so I figured I'd go ahead and do a new one to update it and get this answered for you. So we are in my group on Facebook called Silhouette Cameo Crafts and Designs. We'll go down to the files section to find all the awesome files that me and Joy have loaded to this page over the last couple of years. And occasionally you guys load video, uh, files also and we thank you for it. So I'm going to go to this file that Joy just posted last night called Stuck on You Cactus. And I apologize my laptop is a little slow today. We're getting there, I promise. And she's very awesome about making sure she puts a photo in the comments so that you know what it looks like before you download it. And if you're on your phone, you're not going to be able to download any of these files. Make sure you're on your laptop or computer and just click download. Now, depending on what kind of computer you're using, um, it'll either come up on a little board for you I just hit save and you can open file, view downloads, whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to the side for a moment. Now, defont.com has a lot of fonts that you can get. I have one clicked right here called Strawberry Blossom. It's really cute. Now, so that nobody comments and yells at me about using defont fonts, make sure you always read the note from the author. This font is free for personal use only. That means you can't sell an item with this font unless you buy the commercial license, which she gives you the link to. And she also lets you know when you buy the commercial version of this font, you'll get all kind of other stuff with it. And once you buy the commercial license, then you can sell stuff with this font on it. Now, if you're gifting an item to a friend, it's cool. But as soon as money changes hands, it's it's illegal. Don't do it. And if you do, trust me, everybody in the world of crafting will let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download. And that's also in my downloads. Yay. So I just like to take them out of my download folder and just put them on my desktop. And I'm going to put this one way over here. And then for the font, what you want to do is right click the file and then click open and then see these ones with the little A on them those are the fonts so usually if there's two it's because they did them different ways and then for my laptop I go to the little search button on the bottom and I type font and I open that folder and I have a lot of fonts, so apparently this is going to take a second. I'm sorry. And then I just grab the two and put them in there. And now they're installed. Now, if you have Silhouette open, you're not going to see the fonts. You have to close all the way out and then open it for it to read the new fonts that you just placed in your computer. Now, again, these don't go into the Silhouette program. You just install that font into your laptop or computer so it's part of your laptop. And it'll only come up on Silhouette because it's a font you have in your laptop. Now, for the file that our lovely Joy did, you can do one of two things. You can just have it on the side like I have here and drag it in. And then I could resave it. Or I can just bring it to my Sill Cuts folder and put it in, then click open. Stuck on your cactuses right there. And voila, just as Joy had downloaded it or uploaded it to the group. So that's how you do that. I hope that helps. Um, that's the simplest way to explain it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe. And you know what? If you hit that bell, you'll get notifications anytime that I post. Until next time, guys.